What's up guys, it's River Rat Productions and today I'm going to be going and floating down the Pigeon River. Uh, the past few times I've actually been down the river I haven't done too good. Uh, the past couple times I actually got skunked. So hopefully we won't get skunked today and hopefully it'll turn out pretty good. But if you haven't already, please consider smashing that subscribe button and also make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll have it linked down below. And we are on the road to 1K subs, so if you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you guys can stay tuned to future content. And we're going to try to get it by the end of the year, hopefully. So that's the goal, at least. So if you guys want to help out with that, make sure you do it down below. And let's see if we can get us some good ones, guys. Ooh, we got another one, guys. Ooh, that's a decent one. Ooh, stay on, buddy. All right, guys, so... We're on the Pigeon River today. Uh, I've came the past few times and gotten skunked, unfortunately. Uh, it's just the time of year. It's it's either a hit or a miss. So we got about seven hours to fish before sunset. Um, we're gonna try to see if we can find some smallmouth. The gauge actually messed up on the pigeon. It had like a malfunction. So I don't know exactly the water temperature. I went and looked at the French broad and it was, it's normally like two degrees warmer over there so i'm gonna say it's probably in the 50s right about now uh the water felt pretty good but hopefully we will catch you some nice smallies i'm gonna pull over this spot it's kind of a flat i'm gonna try casting this crankbait here see if we can uh maybe get us a pretty good smallie that'd be awesome is a fire crawl color there feeding up on crawl system of year and this is one of the best colors to throw in my opinion at least a lot of people will probably say the same too just a little six cent square bill i think it's a 50 x yeah because yeah, i think it has a rattle in it, it might be the 50 s I, I can't remember i'll have to look here well guys they fixed the water temperature so i now officially know what it is it is right now 49 degrees so it's supposed to get up to about 67 today maybe a little bit warmer maybe a little bit less but they're crawling for 67. so it's going to heat up a decent amount it's just going to be can we get some because we had that sunfish bite it's always good to at least get one bite so far but I feel like if we do catch a smallmouth, it's probably gonna be a pretty decent one. So I'm definitely gonna work this lure pretty slow and hopefully we can catch us a pretty nice smallmouth. All right guys, so this spot did not produce. So I'm gonna head on down river. I had a few bites here, but I cannot land one unfortunately. But I think we're gonna be targeting deeper holes today. I mean, we'll just have to see where exactly they're biting um, i'm pretty sure i got hit by a small mouth a couple of times through here so i just want to still make pretty good time and see different spots in case this one didn't produce so we're gonna head on down river guys we still haven't had any luck so I'm gonna head on down the river some more and hopefully see and get some good fish um, not really too sure what exactly uh, to throw um, I got bit by that uh, panfish with the Ned rig so I think I'm just gonna stick with that just because the water temperature is pretty cold we'll just go from there bite oh I think we were getting bit guys it's unfortunate 
Okay, so that definitely felt like a bite. I don't know if it was a panfish or what. Kind of felt like a panfish. I'm not exactly too, too sure. I feel like they're gonna be up on this bank. It's pretty deep water. Oh, I think I actually might see some, some bass. Not exactly sure what that is, but they are swimming. So I'm gonna toss it like right. Right in front of them. I actually am not really too sure on what I just saw. Um, they might have been smaller bass, but huh. I wonder what that was. I've seen some, I've seen like four of them. Oh guys, we got one. Let's see what it is. I think it's a little panfish. Yep. Awesome. So that's probably what's been biting it. That's actually a pretty decently sized one. So that's cool. All right guys, here's this little panfish. Gonna get him back in the water and send him on his way. I think he is what was hit my lure, so. I'll send him on his way. Thanks, buddy. Or at least not let me get scout today. I've been seeing a lot bigger fish in here, so I might stay here for a few minutes. Kind of see what is exactly in here. Because I've been getting a lot of bites here. I've only been here about 10 minutes. I probably already got five. So, maybe there's a smallmouth over there. That'd be awesome. We're just letting it drift. Oh. I think I missed it. Keep getting bit, but I think it's panfish, so oh, we'll keep seeing. Nothing really too special happened after that. I saw some little bait fish. I wasn't exactly sure what they are. Um besides that, nothing too too crazy. I had quite a few bites. Um, it wasn't too, too deep there either, so kind of puts it in perspective uh, where I should probably be fishing today. So we're going to come up here and hopefully catch us our first smallmouth. I have a pretty good feeling about this spot through here, but we'll just have to see. Well, guys, our lure keeps getting destroyed through here, but for some reason I cannot seem to hook into any fish besides that one panfish earlier. So... I don't exactly know. It could be panfish. Some of them felt pretty good, like they're bass, but I could be wrong. I, I don't really know, honestly. But we're just going to keep fishing this because this is the most bites I've had all day. And hopefully we'll get us a pretty decent one out of here. If I can just catch one good one, I would be so happy with today. It doesn't even have to be that big. If it's like a couple pounds, I'd be pretty content. Or it could be break my PB. That'd be pretty cool too. Well, guys, the fish have definitely started becoming more active now. Um, I've had a lot more bites in this little section. I probably got at least 15, I would say. I mean, it was a decent amount. Uh, probably over half of them were bluegills. But there was some pretty big weight from where I spooked some fish. So uh, it leads me to believe that it was either like a bass or a carp. But I think it was a bass because a lot of them were jumping. So, I guess we'll see what happens, guys. I am at my next spot. Fish have definitely warmed up quite a bit. I checked it and it was about 52 was the water temp. So I think we can definitely, hopefully land some fish. guys Whew. oh guys finally we finally got us a smallmouth 
Oh my gosh. That's actually not a bad one. At least I didn't get skunked today. Alright guys. So, I am at my next spot. Fish have definitely warmed up quite a bit. I checked it and it was about 52 was the water temp. So I think we can definitely, hopefully land some fish. Ooh, guys. Whew. Oh, guys, finally. We finally caught us a smallmouth. Oh, my gosh. That's actually not a bad one. At least I didn't get skunked today. That is not a bad one. If I do say so myself. Um, I was just swimming it and he just smoked it. So I might tie on like a chatter bait, but I've been getting bit like crazy on this. So I'm just going to keep it up, see what I can do. But that's an awesome smallmouth, number one for the day. So awesome. All right. Thanks, little buddy. Right back to the deep. I'm so glad we finally caught one, guys. So how I caught that one was I just casted it up into the current and kind of just let it drift into this pool here. And I was kind of swimming it back. I guess I caught its attention. It was about right about here where he started following it. So might fish this spot a couple more times see the water temperature has definitely gotten a lot better but the wind's kind of picked up if you can't tell um there was also some fires going on near here so i don't know if you guys can really see it too too much on camera but um it's kind of a little hazy here uh so yeah hopefully we don't have to deal with that we had a few more bites but nothing too too crazy I'm just happy we at least caught one today. Uh, it feels like there's been a lot of days like that recently. But it's okay. Uh, that's why they call it fishing and not catching. So, I'm just happy to be out here. It's a nice day. We're having a good time. Um, I still have some pretty good holes to hit. So, hopefully, I can find some pretty nice smallmouth in there. Because that, that was a good one. I can be content with that but it'd be awesome to catch a even bigger one so that's the goal now or catch another one but if we can catch one that's pretty decently sized i'd be pretty happy and i was just swimming this ned rig and that's whenever he hit it so i don't know i've been having a lot of bites just kind of jigging the the ned rig off the bottom so i'm not really too sure my one and only smallmouth that i caught today was hooked while swimming it so well guys, I'm at the next spot. Um, I definitely feel like there could be some pretty nice fish in here. So, probably gonna fish these spots a little bit. It's about 5.30 now. So, we're gonna have to make uh, some pretty quick time. Uh, we got about an hour and a half-ish left to fish before we need to start paddling back. So, there's still a few spots I do want to fish, but we'll see how it goes. Ooh, we got another one, guys. Ooh, that's a decent one. Ooh, stay on, buddy. Stay on. Ooh, we got him. We got him, guys. I knew there was some small mouth in here. Well, guys, that right there is what makes this worth it. That was awesome. That was a big, big fish, especially for today. I saw him actually swimming under this tree, and I kind of backed off a little bit, and I just cast it right on along the edge line of it, and wow he just smoked it that is a beautiful small mouth i'd say he's about he's pretty fat i don't want to weigh him i'd say he's about a 
pound, pound and a half. Probably about a pound, but awesome fish. So I'm gonna get him back in the water, send him on his way. One last look at the little guy. I'll send him on his way. Ooh, he is ready to go. That was so awesome. All right, guys, might as well try that again because that worked pretty decently well. See if we can do it two times in a row. We're just gonna work it right past this brush pile again. I don't know if, how much of a view you guys had for that, but that was, that was pretty awesome. All right, so we're just gonna kind of cast it kind of deep where they relate to structure and just kind of work it slow because I think that's probably gonna be our, our best bet. I tried the chatterbait. Um, I've tried spinners, I've tried jigs, um, I've tried jerk baits. Uh, the only thing that can really produce for me today is an Ed rig. There was no more uh, smallmouth at that spot that I could catch. I, I kept getting a lot of bites, but I just couldn't land them. I think a lot of them were panfish. So we're gonna keep moving on. Uh, we don't have too much longer left, so probably just like one or two more spots. And then we'll probably start the paddle back. Well, guys, we're about to head back to where I'm getting out at. So I will see you back here in a second. Well, guys, we had a pretty good day, honestly. Um, it wasn't like too, too crazy, but I'm glad that we didn't get skunked today. Uh, the smallmouth that we did catch today were pretty decent size for the pigeon, so can't really complain. And also the bluegill that we caught was pretty nice too, so that was awesome. So hopefully the weather will be getting a little bit better here in the next couple weeks, and we'll be able to hopefully get on some beds here, and hopefully we'll be able to fish for them pretty soon where we'll be catching quite a few in a day. Can't wait for that, shouldn't be too much longer. So if you haven't already, Smash that subscribe button so we can hit 1K by the end of the year. And also, make sure you follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys later. See you.